20-year-old solo traveller, it's quite easy to find oneself disorientated. To ensure I didn't miss the ferry, I found myself sprinting from the Star Ferry to Immigration. Thankfully I made it, and now I'm excitedly headed to Macau. While Macau is renowned for its casinos and gambling, my interest lies elsewhere. I'm headed to Team Lab Supernature. I was captivated by the exhibits I first saw in Tokyo, Japan. There's also another secret goal of mine, which you'll discover later in this video. Navigating the public transportation in Macau resembled my experiences in Hong Kong. I strolled through the heat to a 7-Eleven, where I acquired a Macau pass, akin to the octopus or Suica cards in Japan. Boarding the bus bound for the Venetian hotel, I marveled at the cleanliness and tidiness. However, I was embarrassed to film when this other guy hopped on. Nevertheless, the breathtaking view from the bus distracted me. Despite the smog casting a haze over the city, the sheer magnitude of the human-built structures, especially the enormous bridges spanning the sea, left me pondering the incredible capabilities of our species. I was kind of blown away at this point. Why the hell was the Eiffel Tower in front of me, let alone the Big Ben down the road? Why does this exist? Despite having been to Macau before, I'd never explored the southern part, and stepping off the bus left me utterly speechless. It's intriguing to ponder how one side of this small country is packed with tightly squeezed high-rise apartments resembling sardines in a can, while the other side boasts extravagant structures meticulously crafted to recreate renowned landmarks, all to delight its visitors. But let's shift our focus to Team Lab. Immerse yourself fully as I have left the audio from the exhibit untouched.
I've lost count of how many times I revisited those videos. The complete immersion you feel is genuinely a masterpiece. Only we had something like Team Lab in Australia. Supernature is crafted like a maze, but finding the exhibitions isn't a straightforward task. Part of the charm lies in the exploration. Getting lost and missed the displays, making the experience truly unique. My personal favourite was undoubtedly the bubble exhibit, where you don PPE and walk through a room filled with bubbles. While at the Venetian, I patiently waited in a long line to savour the renowned Lord Stowe's egg tart. It's safe to say I indulged a bit too much. They were absolutely delicious. How ridiculous is this Venetian hotel? They recreated outside canals inside a mall. Here's a funny story. Originally, I had scheduled a 5pm ferry back for some reason, but I made a spontaneous decision to stay because why not? This kind of attitude has become a hallmark of my solo travels. I've developed it to remain open to more experiences and simply say yes. There's no sense in dwelling on regrets, especially for an introvert like me. Stepping out of the comfort zone can be challenging. What's the point of traveling if you're not willing to do so? As I strolled across the harbor front, I found myself singing aloud. There were two kids engaged in running races nearby and it triggered nostalgic thoughts of my own childhood. It got me pondering about life in Macau, where money is sometimes allocated to questionable places rather than improving the lives of its people. Travelling is not just about exploring new places, it's also about understanding the perspectives and realities of the peoples who call these places home. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more content like this, please consider sticking around and subscribing.